Do you want a clean anime window setup? In this video, we're going to show you how to transform your boring, outdated system into a fully customized anime themed desktop that looks absolutely insane. We spent countless hours searching the entire internet, testing tools, and tweaking everything to put together the perfect anime setup for you. This isn't one of those basic setups where you just change the wallpaper and call it a day. We'll be using six handpicked tools that will change the entire look of your PC. From the start menu and taskbar, for which we've actually written custom code specifically for this setup, to your wallpaper, widgets, browser, and even Discord. And the best part? It all looks consistent, so let's not beat around the bush any longer. Let's jump right in and transform your PC. In this first step, we are going to install Windhawk and add the custom code we wrote for you. And as you can see, this isn't your typical Windhawk setup. It perfectly matches the rest of the system. Go ahead and click on the first link in the video description to get to the official Windhawk website. Once you're on there, click on the big blue download button to get the program. When it's downloaded, you can execute the file by simply double-clicking on it directly in your browser or in the downloads folder of your explorer. Simply follow the installation process and you're good to go. When the download is finished, the Windhawk app should have opened up. In the opened app, go ahead and click on explore in the top right corner. In here we are going to install two themes, the Windows 11 star menu styler and the Windows 11 taskbar styler. We are going to start with the Windows 11 start menu styler. Click on details to see this window right here. Now just click on install to get the mod. In this next window, you can go ahead and accept the risk and install. Don't worry, we already tested this tool very extensively to make sure that it isn't a virus. Once it's finished downloading, click on the advanced menu right here. If you scroll down a bit, you can see some custom code. Right here, we are going to add the code we wrote for you. First of all, delete the code that's already in there so we can add in the new code. To get the code, you have to go on our website. Right here is the link to download two codes and one picture. The link to the website is in the video description. After downloading it, open the code with notepad and copy all of it. Now go back to the advanced window of Windhawk and paste the entire code in the mod settings. After pasting it, go ahead and click on save and load. With the download from the website also came a picture called taskbarbe.png. Go ahead and cut it. With the picture in the clipboard, we are going to search for the right location. Start by going on your local disk C and in here in the Windows folder. In the Windows folder, we are going to go in the resources folder. Now just in the themes folder and in here we want to paste in the picture. As you can see, we have this small round and start menu with a clean black and white background. I think it's absolutely stunning and will fit perfectly to the wallpaper. But before we change the wallpaper, we are going to add in a custom taskbar once again with self-written code. Go ahead and download the Windows 11 taskbar styler by clicking on details right here. Just follow the same process as last time and you'll be good to go. After it's downloaded once again, click on the advanced tab right here. Scroll down and delete the custom code that's already in there so we can add in our code. Go ahead and open up the second code you downloaded from the website and copy all of it. Paste it into the mod settings and go ahead, click on save and load again. Now if we look at the finished result, we can see that the taskbar has this very clean design. And in combination with the start menu, it looks really great and unique. As I said already, it will fit perfectly to the wallpaper. So let's transform our setup completely by changing the wallpaper. Start by downloading wallpaper engine and opening it up. And before all of you run away saying that you won't spend $5 on wallpapers, chill out. I will also show you a free alternative. In Wallpaper Engine, search for Path of the Samurai. Once you typed it in, the first result should be the right one. Double click it so it's activated. Now let's take a look at his absolutely stunning wallpaper right here. As promised, the start menu fits perfectly to the black and white of the background. But now let's continue with the free version. Go ahead and click on the link to this picture. The link is in the video description and on the website. Right here, you can click on this download button. You might have to create an account on DeviantArt, but it's really straightforward since you can just use your Google account. When it's downloaded, you can head over to your download folder and right click the picture so you can select set as desktop background. Now we have this wallpaper right here. It also has an anime vibe in the clean black and white theme so it fits perfectly to the start menu and taskbar. But we are far from finished. In this next step we are going to add in some widgets with Jaxcore and a top bar with drop top 4. This widget was added with a Jaxcore application and the sleek top bar will be added with the drop top 4 app. To do that we first of all have to install rain meter. The link is once again in the video description and on the website. I think that you are able to do this installation by yourself since you just have to click on the blue download button and execute the downloaded file. Now go on the next link to the Jaxcore website. On here simply click on the big orange download button. Once it's downloaded, execute the downloaded file by double clicking it. Follow through the installation process until this window opens up. Right here you want to type Y so the installation can continue. Now that it's downloaded, we are going to go through the setup of the app. This one is actually pretty straightforward. In this window, go ahead and choose hardware acceleration and then on continue. Now just click on continue in all of the windows until the core batch installer opens up. Right here, we are going to choose. I'll get them later since we won't be needing these two mods. This window should have opened up now. In here we click on the library to add the two widgets we want to use. First of all, choose the modular clocks widget by simply clicking on it. In here we have this green download button in the top right corner. Click on it and wait for the installation to finish. 
When it's finished, it should look like this. Go to the left side of the screen and toggle on the activate switch right here. After that, go into the style options also on the left side of the screen. In here, you can see some settings on the right side of the screen. Click on the white dot so you can change the color code. Currently it's set to 255, 255, 255, but we want to change it to 000. Now back on the home screen, we have this black clock in the top left corner. Drag it down a bit so it sits in the perfect spot. Now let's add in the second widget, the modular player. In here we are once again going to download it with the big green download button in the top right corner. When it's finished downloading, you can click on the gear wheel on the left side to get to the general settings. In here we choose this design right here. Double click on it and then head to the top left corner to activate the widget. Once it's activated, go back to the home screen. Go ahead and drag the player to the bottom right corner. Now let's marvel at our beautiful creation. I have to say it already is pretty clean, but on the home screen we are still missing one small detail. Go and click on the link to the drop top 4 application. On this page, click on the big green download button. In the window after that, choose free drop top and in the last window, select I have it already since we just installed Rainmeter. Now just execute the downloaded file and you're good to go. Go ahead and click on continue so the configuration can go on. Now just select your preferred language right here. After that, select desktop only. The last step is choosing your starting theme. We are gonna go with the transparent version. Let's take a glance at the minimalistic top bar right here. It honestly adds another layer of personality to the setup and lets it look not that boring. But we are still missing two small configurations in the top bar. The first one is removing this small annoying blue button right here. Go ahead and right click on this so that window opens up. Now just untoggle the switch of the messenger app and it's gone. The last small configuration is changing the green drop top logo in the top left corner. Click on set home icon. In this window, select symbols and select the small black heart. These two steps are very small but honestly give the whole top bar a cleaner vibe since the blue and green didn't quite fit to the rest of the desktop. Now in this next step, we are going to configure your browser by adding an anime theme to it. Right here we have a little sneak peek of what it's gonna look like. Click on the link to the browser configuration to get to this page. In here click on add in the top right corner. After that confirm that you want to add in the theme. Now you have this screen that screams anime. You can change between trending and your feed. You can only do this configuration in the Chrome browser, but basically every browser offers some kind of configuration where you will always find an anime theme. Let's continue with the last step of this setup, the Discord configuration. The standard Discord app is really boring, so this upgrade is really necessary. One last time, go to our website, click on the link to better Discord, go ahead and click on the blue download button right here. Before executing it, make sure the Discord is already opened, otherwise it might not work. This configuration window of better Discord should have opened up. Click on I accept and then on next. Right here, select the path that's all the way at the top, since better Discord finds the correct path itself. After the installation, you can go ahead and click on the gear wheel in the bottom left corner to get to the Discord settings. In there, scroll down a bit until you find the settings for better Discord. There you want to select themes. In here, search for anime in the top right corner. Click on the blue download button to get the theme. Now let's take a look at the result. It's not that obvious if you don't search for it, but the background is a very nice touch that I can definitely recommend to anybody using Discord. So let's quickly sum up everything we did in this video. We added the wallpaper and some clean widgets. The top bar is also a nice touch. We customized our Chrome browser to match the anime vibe, and we installed better Discord to make the Discord experience a bit more exciting. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe to the channel, it helps out a lot. Also, feel free to check out our Discord server if you want to connect with others who are just as passionate about customization as you are. That's it for this video, and I really hope to see you again in one of the next ones. Until then, stay sober and peace out.